shouldn't be able to be removed. We then press the trigger if we want to release it and pull the plug out like so. So on this boat, the shore power is automatic, so you get your battery charger and your immersion heater on as soon as you've plugged in. So here we have our gas locker at the back of the boat. We have two bottles that are on an automatic switch over, so you shouldn't have to turn anything on or off. The other thing we do have to show you is your main isolation switch. So if you smell gas on board, isolate it there, give us a call and we'll provide you as soon as possible. All right, so the rear berth is converted from this sofa. In a little cupboard over here in the corner, we have two posts. They insert into the sockets in the ground. Then we take one cushion, take two cushions, pop them up there. This then folds out. So, then position our cushions back on the base. Toilet flush operations on this boat are all the same. So before we use it, we flick the lever over to the left hand side, pump the water into the bowl, like so, allow the bowl to fill up a little bit. Once we've used the toilet, we then flick it over to the right and pump the waste away. Leave it over in the right position and just lock the handle into place. And in each of the shower compartments, to have a shower, you need to push a little plunger down on your sink tap there. Okay, that will hold in whilst the shower head is running. As soon as you turn that off, that will then reset to rinse on the sink only. So when you want to use your cooker, hob or grill, at the moment that is in the off position with the butterfly down. We then rotate that 90 degrees and that is gas on. Hold the trigger in, ignite the burner and hold it in for a couple of seconds release. When using the grill keep the door open slightly and don't close it until the grill has cooled down and then once you've finished using the apparatus turn the gas tap into the off position so you can't knock in the gas anybody out on the board. So in a refrigerator we have our little temperature dial here so depending on how full you have the fridge you might just want to adjust the dial to keep your food cold. So on here we have two of these heater controls. There's one for the rear end of the boat and one for the front end. So the operation is press the fan for cold air circulation. Adjust your temperature before you turn your heater on, if you want the heating on. So incline and decline with the arrows. We then press the three heat symbol. Get a little on flash on the screen. We need to leave that running for a minimum of 10 minutes so it can go through its startup cycle. And once the 10 minute cycle has passed, you can then turn it off as and when you wish. You get the two dotted lines once off. So if we want power to our AC socket, so 240 volt for the TV, microwave or mobile phone charging, we need the inverter in the on position. We get the little green symbol in the top here to show we've got power. We then close that down. So once your inverter is live, we then have use of things like the TV. So we turn the TV on. This television system works off an aerial on a booster. So wherever you are moored up, you will have to adjust your aerial to be able to get a signal. If we'd like to use the DVD player, we've got the source button here. We scroll down to DVD on the menu, select DVD the DVD just goes in the side of the TV monitor there. Once finished using the inverter system, we then turn the inverter off to preserve power. So the operation of this stereo is quite simple. Press the button in the top left hand corner to turn it on. We can then select CD, AM or FM radio and to turn it off, simply press the same button for a couple of seconds. Right, so now we're at the driving position. So we have our switches here. So we have our horn, our wiper, our lights for the saloon area above our head, our fresh water pump, and our bilge pump. We leave that in the automatic position. We don't have to worry about that. So for startup of the boat, disengage the gear control, put the throttle on, then turn the ignition to heat, which is the second notch on the key, 10 to 12 seconds. 
there starting the boat up. You give it a couple of revs, that excites the alternator, gets your batteries charging and also gets your rev count working. Nice and simple. So you pull the control back into the neutral position, re-engage the gears, we then have forward and reverse drive. And to stop the boat, just turn the key to the off position. Right, so at the dash, we also have our water gauge. So when we get in the red, we turn our water pump off, fill up with water and turn our water system back on again. We have our fuel gauge, shows how much fuel we have, our voltage gauges for the domestics and the inverter, and our temperature and oil pressure gauge. So we've also got our light panel here. So we've got battery one, battery two, our heat symbol, which illuminates when you turn it to heat, oil pressure, engine temperature, and exhaust temperature. So if you get any red lights on whilst you're traveling, you need to moor up, cut the boat out, and give us a call as soon as possible.